to do a DIY on safe home do-it-yourself basic water quality test kit. I couldn't find any of these videos to actually see how to do this. There was a couple different kits online, but I didn't see one for this particular kit. So we're going to try this one today. We're testing our water in our home. Let's get started. Make sure you wash your hands. Ha! Whoa! I'm sorry, I don't know what to record on still. And here are the contents inside. We have that, a color chart, the direction sheet, and a barcode. One, dip one test strip into a sample of freshly drawn water for just two seconds, then remove it from the water. Two, lay test strip flat with the pads facing upward. Wait 30 seconds for the colors to develop. Three, within 60 seconds, match color of each pad with its respective perimeter value in the chart located on the test strip pouch. Record your results. Color accuracy may diminish after 60 seconds. All right, let's get some water. Let's open the package. It's supposed to be easy. <laughs> okay, got it. Goodness gracious, though. <laughs> says to make sure your hands is not wet when you reach inside of here to get one of these strips out. So here's one strip. This strip is supposed to tell you which one it's for. But we'll see. So we notice there's a lot of sticks in here. And like I said, other videos, it shows the names of each stick. These doesn't have names on them, and I don't want to pull them out because it said not to touch the strips. So what we're going to do is, after carefully looking at it, it's 1 through 12. And if you lay it like this, that's 12 of them. So we're going to just dip it in the water. And since we have 12 strips, we're going to test this one and see if that's the way it works. Because you can't use this one for the total hardness because we don't know if this is the strip for it. So we're gonna just dip it and let's go back to the directions because did it say hold it for so many seconds in the water? Two seconds. We're gonna do that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put this in here and I got a two second timer over here. So I'm going to put it, oh, I can't get that last one in there. So I'm not gonna get the, that was it. <laughs> okay, so then lay the strip down, face up. I didn't get this yellow one in guys. I didn't get this bottom one to go in all the way. So oh, the purple one's already changing. I'm brave. Oh, it's 60 seconds. Oh, time's up. Okay, so meat. So if it's in green, so the green numbers mean it meets the it meets what it should meet. If they have the red numbers, it exceeds the limit. And then if they're black numbers, no EPA limit. All right. So this top one, like I said, I didn't get that yellow one all the way in, so we'll have to do another strip with that. So this has more of a, this purple we think? Yeah. So our water is very hard. When it comes to fluoride, which is the second one, it's not high in fluoride. When it comes to iron, hmm, it's this one, you see that color matches the third one for the iron. So it's not much iron in the water. This orange one is copper, which is number four. It's about matching that one. Nitrate? Yeah. It's about right over here.
Now you can only assume that your water, since it's going through your whole house, is the same, but we're going to test our tub water. So we're gonna go, we're gonna get a different cup to make it a little deeper. We're gonna go get some water from the tub and bring it back and let you see the results are from that one. Be right back. We have a new cup, it's deeper, and it's from the bathroom tub. Let's start the two seconds. That was way too fast. I'm gonna flip it over. Start it up the 60 seconds. See any of them changing colors? I think they're changing fast. They're looking very dark. That bottom one started off yellow, didn't it? Yeah. And every time we kept pouring the water. Oh, we... there was something in the water every time we poured a cup into the our cup. <laughs> so we were like, wait, what is that? So we had to dump it. And we poured some more water in. Wait, what is that? We had to dump it. So, so now yeah. this water is clean. All right, let's take some results. Bring it a little closer. So the results, look at that. So definitely is hard with the uh, 250 and 425. So a lot of the water is hard. Yeah. Well, this is white, so mm -hmm. that's good. Um, that one matches with the first one as uh -huh. well. This one matches with the first one. Is that a black number or a red It's number? a red number, 9.0. Well, there you go. This will be how you do the Safe Home Test Water Kit. And there you have it. You can go out and grab this. I got this at Lowe's. This is not a paid advertisement, but we did pick this up at Lowe's. And since it has 12 different tests, this was about $13. They had another one in there that had about 20 tests uh, that test 20 different things on the back or a little more. And um, that one was about $40. So we were testing this one, really looking for iron. And then the other ones does have lead and other things you could test for but since I didn't see any of these online I figured I would we would do this together for you guys in case you wanted to know how to do safe home water quality test kit all right see you soon good job <laughs> don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on your post notifications so you know the next time we post peace out peace